Hi folks, Brian Callan here from Callan Harps. I'm uh, making a wee video here today for uh, International Harp Day. Uh, for my workshop today I'm doing some levering, harp levering, um, which is a, a vital part of the harp making process and for me this is the, the, the final stages. So if you come a little bit closer I'm just going to show you and demonstrate how to put on a lever. So here we have an A lever which needs to go on. So I need to get the exact position for this lever on here. So I need to make sure it's in the note of A. And what I do is I place the lever where I think the semitone is going to be. And that seems to be the position of it here. Here I hold that on here and I mark the center for where the screw is going to go in. So I get my drill and I drill a hole to receive the screw. And then I place the lever in underneath the string and screw that into place. Tighten that, now I need to check and line that up that it sits in perfectly and again check my semitone slightly off so I'm going to adjust the bridge pin in a second but before I do that I'm going to place the second screw in here drilling a pilot hole first which allows the screw to go in without the wood splitting screw that in And we'll check that now. So it's slightly out. If you have a look down here, Mr. Cameraman, if you have a look down at this, you'll see that's an A. So semitone is slightly off, so I need to adjust that with the bridge pin by bringing the bridge pin up or down. So we have some already done here. So this is a 22 string harp. So I'll continue on. Again, the next note is the note of G. Continuing on, ignoring the chicken. And we'll get the semi tone for, for G. Again, mark at the center. And drill in the hole. And screwing that onto the neck of the hand. Check that. So that's the note of G and the center note, and that is bang on there. Yeah, this is one job or process of the harp that cannot be rushed. If you mess up or fleck up on the levers, you're going to be in trouble while playing the harp if it's not holding its tune. Each lever is designed specifically for the harp, so you have the vibration length, the vibration length of the string is from the soundboard right up to the center point of the bridge pin here. So this lever will not suit my 34 string harp. So this is my 32 string student model. So I have a different set of levers for that. They're not universal and they will not um, fit properly on anyone else's harp either. So Kamek designed each lever for each string on my harps. Again, we put on the EF. So it's critical you get the exact position for the lever. And we put 
my screws. So, and again, fix that into place. And check the semitone on that. Back up on the string. And that needs to be slightly adjusted. So, again, adjust the bridge pin. And adjust that in. I'm not going to uh, show you how to put on all 22 levers. You get the idea after, after three. Uh, this takes approximately an hour and a half to two hours to complete and adjust and regulate all the levers. So again, each one has to be done individually and checked. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the uh, explanation of the levers and uh, thanks for tuning in. Thank you. Bye bye. Hello, my name is Fiona McConnell and today I have my 26 string customised harp that Brian Callan and County Galway made for me. So I want to play you two pieces for National Harp Day. The first is a slow air called The Fairy Child that I would have learnt as a teenager growing up and then I'm going to follow it by a polka called Seamus Cousins that's from a recent publication for music for the 26 string harp. So I wish everybody happy harping for National Harp Day. <laughs>